welcome to my channel if you're new welcome back to all my loyal subscribers i love you guys thank you so much for your support thank you for watching my videos commenting and just supporting your girl before i get into the video you know i always talk about healing you know this channel is about helping people heal and I have a worksheet book that's out on Amazon. I'm going to leave the link in the description box below. But this book, I'm too scared to open it because I want you to do this. I want you to purchase it first. Um, it's full of activities that will help you um, guide you along your healing journey. This is just a disclaimer. This will help you along your healing journey. Don't think just because you buy the book, all of a sudden you're going to be healed. This is to help you, guide you on your healing journey. If you apply these practices and other practices such as meditation and, you know, prayer to this, you should see a huge difference in your mentality, in your mental health and just in your happiness and well-being. Anyway, let's move on from that. So today we're talking about victim mentality. Like, look. How do I, I don't even know how to even get into this, right? And I'm so excited, so you know I'm going to be talking fast on this one, right? Look, the whole reason, argue with me if you want. The whole reason why you got caught up with the narcissist is because they portrayed themselves to be a victim. Please like and comment and subscribe if this is something that you, I can't even talk, I'm excited about this. I can't eat their, you know they treat me like this they treat me like that which was actually true i'm not gonna lie to you they did treat the narc in a crazy way his parents this is why i felt like he was a victim i actually felt like he was being victimized i actually felt like it life wasn't fair and i don't know why his parents were doing that but as i get into it you know she's a narcissist so he probably just you know was rebelling against her I'm not saying it's okay to abuse your children because at the time he was a very young guy but i felt sorry for him he told me his story and i saw a lot of things that did add up to what he was saying and i felt sorry for him and when i think about it the most of the relationship was built on me feeling sorry for him let's just be honest here i don't know what your situation was like but felt sorry and it could be it doesn't always have to be, you know, they don't have any money or, you know, they can't get a job. Or Sometimes it could be just as simple as, oh, they can't see their kids. My baby mother, she's crazy and she won't let me see my son. And that is the victim mentality that you're going to be like, oh, baby, don't worry. And you're going to want to soothe that man so much that you're going to, that man or that woman, that you're going to literally give them a child. They're going to complain and have this whole victim mentality about how they can't see their child so bad that you're going to end up giving them another child. And then what's going to happen? You're going to be in the same boat as the previous baby mother. You realise when it's too late the reason why that knock can't see his child. You realise when it's too late why nobody wants to be with that knock and that knock is single. You realise when it's too late because they play this victim mentality like the whole world is against them. And the reason why it works because we live in an actual cruel world where, where people actually do wickedness to each other. So it sounds like something that's real and they do actually, and they actually can back it up as well. For example, if somebody is running away from their narcissist um, with the child, you know, then they can, the narcissist can use that and say, look, I want to see my child. Look, I'm reaching out, but she won't allow me. And this is why a lot of people in the comment sections on my TikTok account talk about narcissistic um, baby father only wants to come back in the child's life when there's a new woman involved, when there's a new person, there's a new partner involved. That's when they want to be a good father. And it's actually, and the stories add up. People can relate so much that it's actually kind of scary. But they have a victim mentality. And for them, for you to fall for them, they need to, they can't just say, okay, my baby mother won't let me see my son. They ha actually have to show you conversations. You have to be there whilst they're talking on the phone. You have to actually be involved in that relationship with that narcissist and their baby mother for you to really understand oh wow she is crazy well, she's not she's just protecting her peace and protecting her child oh wow she is being difficult she's not being difficult she's just not tolerating getting abused it just works so, so well with them 
it gets to a point where they know that you're running away from them. They know that you're the actual victim. We don't, I don't like calling me or us victims, but we were the actual victims in, in the situation. So they have to switch it. There's, nobody's going to get with the knock if the knock says straight up, look, I abused her, I put hands on her, I financially abused her, I gave her a child and I left. Do you think anyone's going to even look at you twice? Especially have a child and get married to you? No. They have to do the victim mentality to trap these new supplies in their life, in their web of deceit and BS. They have to. It's all a part of their game. And when you understand that, they're making me out to be the bad person, the bitter person. And I keep telling people, you have to accept that in their story, you're the bitter one. You're going to be the narcissist in their story. You're going to be the toxic one. You're going to be the devil in their eyes because you're not accepting abuse. And you have to be okay with that. You have to be okay with the fact that they're going to look at, look down at you no matter what. The victim mentality is it works. It really does work. You know, especially if, for example, let's just say the narcissist was married and the wife or the husband kicks them out and they have to go back home to mommy or daddy, okay? In order for them to now get you in their web of lies, they now have to act like a victim because then they're going to look like a bum because they are a bum. They are bums, right? So they have to look like, instead of looking like bums, that's moving at home back to moving back home with their parents at, a, at an older age, when they should be financially stable, they're going to act like, okay, my wife, she's crazy. She kicked me out, this, that, and the other. And then you're going to feel sorry for them. But the only way they're going to be able to move out of that house, the only way they're going to be able to, you know just get you trapped in their their deceit of lies their circus is by being a victim oh woe is me no one will let me stay in their house oh no one will look after me oh no one will treat me like a little boy a little girl because you're a big man big woman now so i don't understand why you still want that treatment you're going to be like oh let me look after you especially us light workers I know I always use the word empath, empath, but us light workers, people that are full of light, people that just want to help, that want to heal the world, it's perfect. But we can't help people like that. I know we want to, but we can't. We can, we can help from a distance, but we can't take someone in. Somebody, you know, is struggling, they're homeless, whatever. We really should stop taking people in. I've seen this happen so many times. A woman who used to do my locks, she took in a man that was homeless. You know, they got together, she just, she, she built him up and he even built up his studio, you know, and he ended up taking his studio and leaving with an 18 year old girl. And that really just, that hit her hard. You're gonna turn your back on homeless people, but some of these homeless people are gonna do whatever they can to come up. That's just how it is, it's survival. They need to survive, they need to do what they have to do to get to where they want to get to. And they, only, they know the only way they're gonna do that is with love, you know? Someone said the other day, love is a scam. And I was just like, whew, Jesus is Lord, because I felt that, I was like, yeah, hmm. Because the stuff I did for the knock, hmm, that's only love, for real, because uh, I don't know. But the victim mentality what help, also helps in the smear campaign. The victim mentality helps them get new supplies. The victim mentality helps people see you as the crazy one and them as the victim and they get narcissistic supply. Let's not forget that. They get narcissistic supply off being a victim. In their story, we're the villain, they're the victim, even though we know, like, we know that it's the other way around. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe and I'm going to see you for my next video.